All right, guys, uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take our stretchers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that eight degree dado on the inside of our legs or our stretchers. This will match up to our legs and you'll see that in the next video. Okay, so here we are today, we're at the dado saw. Um, there is a sled already made up to do this. This is a jig uh, set up with the eight degree pitch in it already. This is found underneath our table saw, okay? Um, you're gonna need to take and uh, remove the fence or move it all the way over, set up the sled into the actual uh, T slots of the table. Make sure that this actually slides really well. If it doesn't slide really well, take and wax the tabletop and wax the slides. It'll smooth out uh, after that, okay? All right, once we get that all taken care of, what we need to do next is set up our blade height. Now, if you look at your plans, you will find the depth that we need to cut that dado on your plants. I already have it marked out on my board here. Once you get it marked out on yours, all you need to do is bring that down to our table saw here, next to the blade, elevate that up, and get it to the right height setting, okay? As you see here, I got the tooth of the blade touching the bottom of that line. I'm gonna cut it at approximately the depth that it needs to be, and we'll check it for fit a little bit later, okay? All right, whenever you're doing any setup on this machine, um, make sure that you have all the safety features that you've been trained on uh, in place and that your instructor does need to check this over prior to you starting the machine. Also, your instructor should be standing next to you whenever you're cutting with this apparatus uh, to make sure that he or she can help you at any point in making your cut, okay? All right, next thing I wanna do is actually take my stretcher and I'm gonna look for the grain pattern in my wood and I wanna make sure that you know, I, I match up both sides. It's going to look good. It's also going to function and flow good. And I'm gonna note that as top. Now this happens to be plywood that I'm working with. So for your actual hardwoods or softwoods, it's going to differ by the grain pattern of your lumber, okay? You also wanna make sure that the cup of the grain, that the bark side is pointing in towards the legs of the frame. Obviously for my plywood here, um, it's going to be the uh, rough side or what would be the uh, scrap side would go down or inside of my project. Okay, so once I have the top marked, now I can actually proceed with the next step. Okay, notice on the sled, I have it marked out here, top, top. It's got a match. You have to set your tops on top of the top. <laughs> that makes sense, okay? I also have it noted out here as to how your dados will be cut, okay? As you start to look at what the definition of a dado is, okay, you're gonna have an answer as to what that is to your instructor in the near future. Next thing we need to do is take our stretcher, we're gonna slide it over and we're gonna bump it up against this other uh, stopper. This is gonna set our depth for the distance between the end of our board and the dado on both sides, okay? That distance is going to be relative to where the leg placement is in the future assembly of this project, okay? So I'm gonna bump that over there. Next, I take my hands, we make a C with our hands, fingers are gonna go down, thumbs are gonna go right next to the T-slot. Your hands should not be inside of where the T-slot is on the actual table saw. So if you have um, T-slots on both sides, on your table saws, um, make sure that your hands are outside of that area. This is the no hand zone. Okay, so we have our fingers and our hands in the right place. Okay, I have my blade, I'm gonna check it again. Is it the right elevation? Yes it is. Okay, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. I'm gonna make a dry cut all the way through. Okay, practice this, hands out. Okay. Shut our saw off, retrieve our sled, and do the next one, okay? So here's how we do it uh, for real. So I'm gonna reach up, start my machine, let the blade come up to full speed. All the way through, hands out and around, shut our saw off, let it come to a complete stop. Never reach in next to that blade when the machine is running. Okay, so once it's at a complete stop, I can slide this back and proceed to do the next cut. Okay. 
Once that blade comes to a complete stop, again, I can retrieve my sled and the part, bring it back here, and notice how I have two dados cut and both of them are pitched in or pointing in towards the top. That's how your dado should look whenever you get a chance to cut yours. Now we can go and cut the 22 and a half degree angles on each end and we'll be ready to go. Okay, all right, happy cutting.